Because Cyprus has no working railway system, various other methods of transport are needed to ensure the proper delivery of any cargo, be it human or freight. Since the last railway was dismantled in 1952, the only remaining modes of transport are by road, by sea, and by air. Night view between Agios Athanasios Junction and Mesa Yitanya Junction in Limassol of the 12,118 km of roads in the areas controlled by the Republic of Cyprus in 2006, 7,850 km were paved, while 4,268 km were unpaved. In 1996, the Turkish Cypriot area showed a close, but smaller ratio of paved to unpaved with about 1,370 km out of 2,350 km paved and 980 km unpaved. As a legacy of British rule, Cyprus is one of only three EU nations in which vehicles drive on the left. Salomo Square bus station in 2006, extensive plans were announced to improve and expand bus services and restructure public transport throughout Cyprus, with the financial backing of the European Union Development Bank. In 2010, the new revised and expanded bus network was implemented into the system. The bus system is numbered, some bus routes are, public blue buses operated by Ozil in Makariu Avenue, Nicosia a taxi in Cyprus Road Transport is the dominant form of transport on the island. Figures released by the International Road Federation in 2007 show that Cyprus holds the highest car ownership rate in the world with 742 cars per 1,000 people. Public transport in Cyprus is limited to privately run bus services, taxis, and interurban shared taxi services. Thus, private car ownership in the country is the fifth highest per capita in the world. However, in 2006 extensive plans were announced to expand and improve bus services and restructure public transport throughout Cyprus, with the financial backing of the European Union Development Bank the ports of Cyprus are operated and maintained by the Cyprus Ports Authority. Major harbours of the island are Limassol Harbour and Lardaka Harbour, which service cargo, passenger and cruise ships. Limassol is the larger of the two, and handles a large volume of both cargo and cruise vessels. Larnaca is primarily a cargo port but played a big part in the evacuation of foreign nationals from Lebanon in 2006, and in the subsequent humanitarian aid effort. A smaller cargo dock also exists at Vasilikos, near Zygi. Smaller vessels and private yachts can dock at marinas in Cyprus. Larnaca Marina and Larnaca St. Raphael Marina in Limassol, 34 degrees 4200 and 033 degrees 1000 e. Arbahat we thalathun fossil sabhat c for c for c for c for degrees n. 33.16667 degrees e, 34.70000, 33.16667, Paphos Harbor list of ports and harbors, Larnaca, Limassol, Paphos, Vasilikos. Public bicycles in Nicosia Bike in Action is the latest transportation system for the greater Nicosia area, similar to programs employed successfully in various cities around the world. Bicycles can be found at stations in all participating municipalities and returned after their use at any station. Total 1,414 ships or over, totaling 23,497,776 GT-37,331,506 tons deadweight ships by type. Barge Carrier 2, Bulk Carrier 442, Cargo Ship 495, Chemical Tanker 22, Combination Bulk 40, Combination or slash oil 8, container ship 144. Liquefied gas carrier 6, passenger ship 8, petroleum tanker 142, refrigerated cargo 41, roll on slash roll off 45, short sea passenger 13, specialized tanker 4, vehicle carrier 2 Larnaca Airport in 1999, Cyprus had 12 airports with paved runways. Of them, seven had runways of lengths between 2,438 and 3,047 meters, one had a length between 1,524 and 2,437 meters, three had lengths between 914 and 1,524 meters, and one had a length less than 914 meters. Of the three airports with unpaved runways, two had lengths less than 914 meters and one had a length between 914 and 1,524 meters. In 1999, Cyprus had six heliports and two international airports, Larnaca International Airport and Paphos International Airport. Nicosia International Airport has been closed since 1974. Thanks for watching.